So we probably should have thought of this sooner, but the parts we need to snow bike the scooter are in that pile of snow. There's some of the parts we'll need. There's the uh, tunnel extension with the flap and the grab handle. There's that. We have the carcass of a once phaser on the floor, which means it's time for the scooter to get a snow, snow bike bike. kit. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. This sled's starting to look a little naked and the scooter is starting to look Amazing, just sitting next to it is rad. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna look even cooler than it did. That's a dirt scooter. Kind of works out that the tunnel's red, huh? Yeah. Goes with our used to be a Honda vibe. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a Hamaha. <laughs> or a Yamaha Honda. unbolted in the spring with mounts that don't look too ugly. So um, cut the running boards off. Obviously we don't need those and it's still plenty strong with just that little rib there. We want a balance between not too long of an overall length but not too short of a distance between this and the ski. Because mm -hmm. if that distance were too short it wouldn't turn very well because there wouldn't really be any weight on the ski. Yeah. Um, if it's too long, well, then there'd be more weight on the ski, too much potentially, but also it'd just be so long you wouldn't be able to turn. So mm -hmm. I think somewhere in there is going to be a good, good balance. Plan at the moment is to just take this chain case off, along with the drive shaft that go that for the summertime setup. Um, take that whole assembly off, and then take another one of these drive shafts. Have a sprocket here and then a much bigger sprocket there. And then I will put some sort of a guard on it so that if you fall off, it doesn't eat your leg. It's <laughs> a good idea. I'm all done with getting my legs eaten. So is this an eyeballing it procedure or is it a little more intense than that? A little bit of both. So you got a wrench propping it up there? Yeah, if I can get it to prop it just right. First mount, all tacked in place. Second mount, also all tacked in place. I use some uh, some leftover heim joints from the uh, from the Jeep, so that uh, we can adjust the angle of the track relative to the angle of the of the scooter. Um, I don't think it's really that important, but I had them and they look cool and it allows for a little bit of adjustment. So. And why not? Why not? Exactly. Good. That came out of the snowmobile that bent. 
<laughs> I guess the part you cut out should be the most bent part. Looks like it's kind of right here. Yeah. Oh well, it'll work anyway. You know, we want it to be as close to perfect as possible, which I think that's real close, because when you spin it, all yeah. four of those spin. They're just spacing it, you know, evenly. Yeah. And um, they're tight enough that it'll actually kind of hold it when I w tack it, because, you know, normally when the tacks cool, they stretch, they pull on it one way or another. But... Um, that should do it. Should. Obviously, we'll trim it down once we're done so it's not huge and ugly. But, um, and I've got the shaft tacked back together with the bolt in there to keep it strong. And it was quite bent before. So what I did is just twisted the two pieces relative to each other until their bends were like perfectly opposite. And now it doesn't, I mean, it wobbles the teeniest, tiniest bit, but like. Way better so than it much was. less than it was. <laughs> yeah. Now it's smooth. Yep. It just, the caliper wasn't aligned quite right and it was rubbing on the brake, so easiest solution is just grind the brake down a little bit. Now it's time to lave down this so we can put the sprocket on it. That'll be extra fun. Yeah. That is perfect. Dang. The chain, you can see it just kind of flexes the whole setup, really. Um, now granted, a lot of this isn't welded solid yet, but this is just with my hand on there. With 70 horsepower turning it, it's obviously gonna be trying to flex it even more. The thing to do is to make a, um, a rigid chain guard, which obviously it needs a chain guard. We've learned that kind of thing the hard way, right? Yeah, <laughs> sure have. Um, and so um, I'll make a chain guard for it that's fairly stiff, that bolts onto here and bolts onto this bracket here or something like that, so that that'll help with the forces of pulling these together. It'll be exactly in line with them and help make it rigid. exciting day in the garage because if all goes according to plan we'll be ripping on this thing in the backyard before the sun goes down oh yeah right now Ethan's finishing welding up the support brackets then we're gonna grind this off make an attachment so the ski can go in right here you it's gonna be so much fun oh yeah I can't wait switched to flux core and it looks 
way different, especially in the slow-mo. It's interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a different beast. Um, I don't like it because it's dirtier and uglier. Um, you can, I mean, you clean it up. I don't know. I've just always done gassed welding. Also, it's cheaper. welded up except we just ran out of the flux core welding wire too so uh everyone's got to run to town and get some but <laughs> in the meantime i'm going to work on the front and we're going to take this shock off of this snowmobile and add it in here just because we can it's free we get an extra what five six inches of suspension travel for no cost which is going to be good because the front of a snow bike takes a lot of pounding like if you land on the back ski back a little bit and it slams down like you really need the travel Wow, that is the most difficult thing I have ever ridden. <laughs> Shoot. It doesn't have to stay that way. That's just the way it is right now. Yeah. But wow, that's hard to ride. It's not exactly what I would call easy, but in the soft snow that's not all tracked up, it actually is controllable. I'm gonna be gone the next couple weeks. So we're posting another video about the scooter. And then the Friday after that, we'll be back to the Jeep series. Also, we're doing an Instagram contest right now. So we have a video on our Instagram of Ethan welding in his shirt. And if you go ahead and comment on that and follow us, by the end of the week, we're gonna choose a winner and send you a shirt of your choice for free. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, cool.